Hello everyone, this is Kesh and I'm coming to you today to share some tips on how you can make the learning experience better for your child. Tip number one. Tip number one. Teach your child to be respectful and when respect is taught at home, it is transferred to the classroom. So the child will be respectful of the any adult that is in charge of him or her. The child will also be respectful of his or her peers. The reason I say respect helps with the education process is because while when your child is respectful, there will be less incidents occurring during the teaching learning process and this will help lessons to flow smoothly and when the child is respectful they'll also have less incidents such as stealing fighting and so on during the lesson so it is very important that from home children are taught to be respectful tip number two and some persons may say that tip number two is something that is automatic or so on but you are you may be surprised to see how many parents will overlook this provide adequate learning materials for your child so when you get that book list at the end of the school year try to purchase everything on it I know times are hard and you may not be able to purchase all of them at once but over time, try to purchase all of the materials. The reason they are placed on the book list is because your child needs all of them. And you'll be surprised to see how difficult it is for teachers to really taper the things that we need so that they can suit your budget. Sometimes we have to take things off the list because we know that times are hard and we only put things on it that you, your child will absolutely need. So try to provide all the materials needed for your child to learn. If you see me looking down, I have some notes here. Number three, collaborate, cooperate, and communicate with your child's teacher. If you do not understand a note that was sent home, come to the school, or call the school and ask to speak to the teacher for clarification if you are if you have you are having difficulties such as your child's book is not being marked or you do not like a comment that was placed in it or you don't like something that was said to your child come to the school or call the school and speak to the teacher if it is that you believe you just want to check up on your child and I believe that every parent should just check to see how your child is doing Come in, talk to the teacher because collaborating, um, cooperating and communicating with the teacher will help to make the learning process easier for your child and also you can keep abreast of your child's progress. Number four, attend PTA. That's the parent teachers meetings. When you attend the parent teachers meeting meetings, you'll be aware of things that are happening in your school and also so you can write down the dates and have an idea so that when the memo comes home you won't say this is the first time i'm hearing it and it is sudden most things that are happening at school are discussed at the parent teachers meeting so attend the parent teachers meetings so that you can know what is happening at your child's school and the final tip and i know a lot of parents um do this allow your child to participate in school activities when I say school activities I mean field trips fun days all of those things most of the things that are planned at a school they are done so that your child can have a learning experience from it you may not see a field trip as a learning experience but most field trips are aligned with whatever is being taught in the curriculum so when you allow your child to go on the field trip, some of the things that they are taught in class, they're able to see for themselves. And some of the things that 
are not taught they're able to see for themselves. So allow your child to participate in school activities. I hope this video was helpful to someone. Uh, thank you for watching and I will keep more tips for parents and teachers coming. Thank you for watching.